back to the video. Yes, we just woke up in this awesome spot in France. Look at this beautiful house. It looks abandoned, but it's beautiful. It looks like it's pretty old. We just woke up, it's eight in the morning. And um, we're going for a little walk in the park right next to the parking spot, which is awesome. And today we're going to leave France. We're going into Belgium. And normally I would just just go for it and drive to the Netherlands because we're super close to the Netherlands. But I decided to take two days in Belgium because why not? And um, Belgium, I normally just go past Belgium because I've been to Belgium before and I, it just doesn't intrigue me. But Belgium has the best fries and it has the best pies. So we're gonna go to Belgium, have a look around because I don't think I've ever been to like a town in Belgium. And then we're gonna get the best pies and then eat them and take some home, of course. Uh, yeah, so we're going into Belgium today. But first, before we leave France, we are going to the boulangerie and get some nice bread and croissant for on the road because this is the last time we're going to be in France with a France bakery. So, yeah, let's go do that. But first, 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 we need to walk the dogs in this beautiful little park. Let them roam around. So we're walking through this beautiful park, which is which is adjacent to where we slept because the van, oh, you can't really see it, the van is parked right behind the tree. But what I was thinking is yesterday when I was driving, I drove for quite a bit actually yesterday, I saw a lot of animals, uh, roadkill or alive. I saw a fox alive and it was on the side of the road. Maybe it was eating roadkill or anything. I don't know. It was just there. And then it jumped into one of these yellow flower fields. That would have been such a fancy picture. An orange fox jumping into a yellow field. That was so cool. But obviously my mind took a mental picture of it, but that was it. There's little duckies here. Hey duckies, can we pass? Oh, oh, there they go. <laughs> They're like, bah, 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 bah. But I saw um, an, a dead fox. I saw, I don't remember. I saw, oh yeah, it's like a pheasant. I saw a couple of animals on the side of the road. Oh yeah, and um, uh, like a martyr. Is that a martyr? I don't know. Min, a mince, I don't know. Anyway, but the one that I saw that I was the most intrigued by was a raccoon. Because I don't think raccoons are native to Europe I think they are slowly spreading but they were never really supposed to be here so they kind of mess up the ecological system but I would be so fascinated to find a raccoon if I would find a baby raccoon without a mom I would totally have three dogs and a raccoon from that point on but <laughs> Like raccoons, I think raccoons are so cool with their little hands and their little, they're so awesome. But I saw it on the side of the road and I was like, oh my god, there's raccoons here. Uh, but it was right past the parking spot that we were yesterday that we didn't stay at. And I was like, oh my god, there's raccoons here. So it was in the area of Rheims. <laughs> but that's so cool. Yeah, but the fox, like, it just jumped. Foxes are beautiful. I love all little critters creatures in the world but seeing a raccoon in real life I think it would scare the shit out of me because if I would be walking somewhere and I would see a raccoon and my dogs would bark I don't think the raccoon would leave I think raccoons are pretty like feisty animals <laughs> but yeah I also think that would be super pretty to see a raccoon in real life anyway I just looked it up and they're like basically everywhere they're, they've even been seen in the Netherlands so you <laughs> can probably find them <laughs> some place some time but yeah like beavers I know we have beavers I've just never seen one I know there's beavers everywhere last year we saw a beaver rat that was really cool beaver rat I was so confused because I was like it looks like a beaver but then again it doesn't <laughs> that was so cool it has these big ass yellow teeth <laughs> yeah they were cute Ah, oh, this park is so nice to have this park right next to you. And we had a good night because the yesterday evening a lot of cars were driving by. But it has a speed bump, a very fierce speed bump. So people can go really fast. And 
they were all playing loud music. So I thought for a second, like, oh, maybe people are going to go into the back, uh, parking ground and play music, but they didn't happen. And we had a really quiet night. So I'm really happy about that. I'm getting so tired of all this traveling, <laughs> but um, I just get it out of the way in the morning. And then the rest of the day, I just hang out, <laughs> chill, <laughs> watch movies, watch series. So yeah, oh, I'm so excited. We're gonna have some nice, yes, we're gonna have nice pies. Yesterday I was in the van. I was like, oh yeah, tomorrow I'm in Belgium. And I thought, oh, pies. We're gonna get pies and we're gonna get fries. I think my belly is not gonna be happy after, <laughs> after today. <laughs> Deux croissants and a baguette with one baguette and <laughs> I was ordering in the store trying to do my best French and then a woman came in and I noticed that she was standing really close to me so I looked to the right to see what's going on and she's standing there <laughs> looking at me and I'm like bonjour <laughs> and she's like bonjour <laughs> and I was thinking like what is she looking at is she figuring out what what country I'm from because I'm speaking only a couple words French and the rest Dutch or is she, what is she looking at like <laughs> people are so weird It's getting a little bit better. 
first part was horrible. Anyway, we're, we're almost there. And what is happening is that the closer we get to the Netherlands, the more dense the traffic is. So it's now 10 o'clock, so it's no longer like uh, a lot of uh, people going to their jobs. I don't think so. Trucks are going everywhere. No? <laughs> but uh, so there's no long. It's no. What's that? It's a city. It's no longer. Um, okay. People going to their jobs. I think it is now. You can't see because of the trucks. It is now. Uh, I don't know. But it's getting denser and denser. So when we get to the Netherlands, the roads are going to be better, but the traffic is going to be horrible. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to continue driving. I just filled up on gas for probably the last time in this travel. I'll probably fill her up when I'm back at the farm because I want to be able to use my diesel heater all the time. But the in Belgium, the diesel is actually more expensive than the gas, like the other one, Benzina. So the diesel here is one euro seven four point six, and the uh, benzina is 171.2 which is a little bit weird for me because uh, in all of the other countries uh, also in the Netherlands diesel was cheaper than benzina than gas so we still have 50 minutes to go let's go you know what I also think is really cool you still we're in Belgium now you still have Carrefour, Intermarché, Bricomarché, McDonald's which have McDonald's everywhere but um, we don't have those in the Netherlands, and I think I've seen Carrefour and Intermarché and Bricomarché all the way up to Portugal. So I wonder how much, like, in the other direction it also spends. That's a really big chain of stores. Oh, crap. Oh, I hate this. I get a green light to go to the left, but then they also get a green light to go straight ahead. I hate those. Why? Why, why, why do these exist? <laughs> um, the one thing I'm going to be happy about when I'm back to the Netherlands is that everything on the roads makes sense again. Because other countries do have other rules on the road. Especially the roundabouts. The roundabouts are horrible abroad. In the Netherlands, I think they make good sense. There's even like directions on the road as you're driving and in like Portugal and Spain they go on the inside of the road and then they go to the outside and just everywhere that's because the roundabouts have two lanes I don't like those because they have huge dead corners how do you say that like corners that I cannot see so I don't like to be on the inside and I need to go to the right while I'm in a in, <laughs> going in a What's the word for both? As I'm going like this, I have to look, oh, it's too much stress, so I just <laughs> always stay on the right side. But that's basically not the right the right way to do it. I've been looking at people doing it, and they all, when they want to take the roundabout like three quarters, you have to go to the inside, and then once you're there, you go to the outside. But I just take the entire outside, because I don't want anybody to, <laughs> that was a, what's that called? A, uh, to check your uh, how fast you're going. Uh, so, but I don't want to have people on the right side if I need to go to the right because there's a chance I won't see them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Belgium is it's busy. There's a lot of people on the road, so it's preparing me for the Netherlands. The Netherlands is gonna be horrible. I usually don't film that much in the Netherlands because when I'm driving, because I'm like doesn't really look nice. I'm going to film all of it. Driving into the Netherlands, I'm going to film it. Here's another of these roundabouts. It's big. It's two lanes. I've just taken the outside lane. Going over here. It's a good thing I'm in a big van because people do... Um, <laughs> they do look at the big van and they're like, okay, there's a girl in a van. Let's just give her some space. <laughs> I always forget because this part of the van isn't that big because it's sealed off to the back. It doesn't really look that huge, my van. But if I see myself in a window driving, I'm always like, whoa, I'm driving that big thing. 
it's so funny how that works. My brain just doesn't really connect those two together. Like that my house is actually attached to me while I'm driving. <laughs> I do know how, you know, and it's a good thing I have my rear view camera. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to park backwards because I have no idea how long I am if it isn't without the camera. The camera just tells me exactly where to stop. Okay, we're almost there. 13 minutes will be there. You know what's so strange? Belgium, half of it speaks French, half of it speaks Vlaams. I don't know the English word. Is it like Bel Belgic? <laughs> I don't know. But I think I am actually going over a... Um, I think I'm actually going over a sort of boundary with that. Because these the streets... I'm going from Walsgewest into Vlaamsgewest and I think that's from Wallonia into Bel Belgium speaking territory. I'm gonna look that up because the streets are so like the towns are moving there so they're called Ninov and uh, Gramont and then the next town is Gerardsbergen which that's Over Belgium. 300 meter, sla rechts af naar de HG straat. Here, I'm going in. Yeah, the province Waals Brabant. Heet u welkom. That's d like Dutch, Belgium. Belgium and Dutch is similar. It's not the same, but I can I can understand. They have sometimes I have to ask like what's that word, but overall it's the same. Wait, so the town that we're going in is actually French. But the part that we're staying in is Belgium. Wait! <laughs> Your bestemming befindt zich aan de linkerkant. This is blowing my mind. Where is that? Oh, there. <laughs> so we can actually walk past. There's nobody here. That's perfect. Because there are only two spots here. So there was a. Let's put her back. I'm going into the green. Oh. oh. Everyone who meets her absolutely adores her. <laughs> why did why he start talking again? Let's put it in. Let's put it here. Oh, wait, I'll put it. Oh, no, gross. Happy Val, I love that you sent me a text. Can you asking. stop? I'm not asking you to talk. Why does it keep talking? Okay. I'm gonna put it on this side because the emptying of the grey water is on that side. So if I put my van there, I'm blocking that. Plus, it looks gross. There's... Ugh, people put toilet paper on there. Ugh, that's gross. Uh, can we get out of the van now? Ugh, it looks horrible. Why do people do that? Now I'm blocking the water, but I think that people can reach down. Anyway, we're here. Let's go get some pies! So it's just 11 o'clock. Uh, so we're gonna go for a walk. I think we're gonna be gone for like 45 minutes. When we get back, we're gonna have a cozy rainy day in the van because it's raining and we have a beautiful little spot. So what we're gonna do is make some tea, make some nice orange juice. We're gonna have like a little high tea moment. We're gonna have all sorts of pastries, hopefully. I hope they sell small ones so that I can just, if they have bigger ones, I'll go, oh, I only got one bag. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna get, but I, well, no, it's too early to get it for my parents. I was gonna get it for tomorrow for my parents, I think, because I want to get the fresh, they have the, the freshest possible. And um, yeah, ooh, we're in Belgium, you guys. I don't really like, like the buildings and such in Belgium. But, and I wonder if they're gonna speak like Vlaams now. I'm so confused. Are they gonna be? Are they gonna, are they gonna be talking Vlaams? Because then I can really can talk to them just normal. Or are they gonna be French? Or can, are they gonna be both? On their tractors here. If I'm ever gonna get a little house, I want to get a little tractor like that one or that one. I don't really need that one, it's too big, or this one, no, that's not, I think this or that will be cool. I can see myself driving around a little tractor on a little property, collecting some wood or such, I don't know what I would be doing, but just moving stuff around with my little tractor. What is so cool is because it's bilingual, you have signs, street signs, in France, accepte, and in Dutch or Vlaams, uitgezonderd. 
Isn't that cool? Here's the same thing. Deviation uh, and umleiding. So that's French and Dutch or Vlaams. It's Vlaams, it's not Dutch. But uh, that's so cool, right? I love it. Come on. We're just having a little walk around. I have no idea where we are. There's a beautiful bakery here. Oh, there's a bakery here. <laughs> I thought they just had bread, but they have pies. back and look what we got <laughs> I don't know if I can show it without it falling off we got this with lemon in it oh these look so look how beautiful that is that's so stunning then we have a little a little um, cherry and then we I already took a bite this is my all-time favorite I do have to say that this one is getting a little bit still. Now what I have to say is that in this Brut store, they also sell some. Maybe I'll go have a look. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, I still love it anyway. I think I'm going to go into this little Brut bakery. Because I think it's open. And then I'm going to see... Because I think they have smaller ones, but I don't know if they sell it, if they just have it. Because yesterday I saw that you had to buy or order it three days in advance. Um, but that's not pillow. That's not working because uh, I was only finding out about that yesterday. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go into the store and see if they have it, so I can compare if that one's fresher or not. But I love this anyway. But I want to go check that out. I'll go do that. So they didn't have it anymore because they were sold out. But they're gonna have it tomorrow morning, and I got. A matte tart? A matte cake? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but she says it's something, it's a specialty from the region with some sort of milk cheesy stuff in there. So we're gonna have that too. <laughs> we're just buying cheap cake everywhere and pies, but we're gonna try this too. <laughs> so I got, so I got the matte tart. They didn't have the rice cakey thingy anymore, so I got this one. They're gonna have Ooh, this smells so great. She says, oh my god. She says this is a specialty from the region. Mutton tart. They speak Dutch. That's so nice. Belgian. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I have four little pastries. I have the cherry and the matte. I think it looks similar to it. Oh, it looks nice. And then we have my rice, which I've already started eating. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is... um. I'm gonna try them all and tell you which one I like best. Now, the rice has a big head start because that's my favorite, but I also love cherry. Never had this other one, but it smells awesome. So let's go try. Okay, let's do the rice first because I've already started eating that one. <laughs> okay, looks nice. Oh, presentation is nice. The, cr the bottom looks good. I like the texture. I just don't like that it's that firm. I like it a little bit more soft, a little bit more gooey. Okay. I'm not giving it a number yet. From all the rice I've had, I would probably give it a seven actually. I was thinking I'm not giving it a number, but I it's a bit dryish and I don't know. Okay. Cherry. Oh! Oh crap. <laughs> A very thin crust. An 8 out of 10. Because I really like the, the cherry flavor. It's nice and sour. But the crust is so thin. And it's a hard crust. It's super thin crusty. Hearing music. Okay, so let's do the... Oh, 
this inside like foam, like a lemon. Ooh, ooh, the taste is nice. What is happening? I didn't have a complete bite because half of it is still in here. It kind of fell apart. Wait, I'm so confused. These, the brown parts, this, oh, I'm making a mess. The brown parts of the top are crunchy. They're like merengue, like hard merengue. Which is throwing me off. Okay, this looks mess. Now this is this is way different than the one I had in France because it's more lemony, it's more sour. It has the the crust is like crunchy. We would call this zandteig, I think, like a zandkoekje. So it's more crusty, more sugary, and then the top is also crust. Okay, give it a number. I think a seven. I have to have a little drink. When I had it in France twice, did I have it twice? I think I did. Did I have it once? I don't know, but it had like sort of lemony curd, so that was more like a lemony jammy in the bottom, and then and then on the top was a little bit of the white merengue stuff, but it was like softer. This one is crunchy, and the Lemon is more like whipped cream, so that's totally different. Okay, okay, now let's try the, uh, what did I say what is it called? Tart. Matte tart. It's like a cake. Oh, I'm accidentally pulling it apart. Wait, is it, what is it? It's cakey? Wait, it smells weird. So it looks like it is a bladderdeeg, so like a, what's that called? Like a croissant -y bottom a little bit, see, like a pie crust that you can see here. And then there's like a cake filling. So it's not all one, it's not just like a normal cake. It's not all consisted of one batter, see? It's like a crusty and then a batter in it. Okay. This is really filling. Jeez. It reminds me the most of what we have in the Netherlands, which is like a round cookie with almond stuff in it with a mandel spice. I think that's an. I don't even know what it's called. A mandel spice. <laughs> Let me look it up. I don't I don't particularly like it. It's more cakey. It's super filling. It's like a whole meal if you eat that. Oh, gevulde koeken. <laughs> That's like, why don't I know what they're called? They are gevulde koeken, which is like stuffed cook. <laughs> cookie. Okay, so my favorite out of all of these. I don't know. They're actually kind of all disappointing. Is that very, un is that very like privileged to say? The, this, this one is like, I don't know. That's super filling. To eat that, that's a meal for the entire day. Um, this one is nice. Just don't particularly like the bottom. The lemon one is also really nice. I just I get weirded out by the texture of the crunchiness. And then the rice I like, but it's a little bit too sturdy for me. This is like a block. Like <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Okay, let's just give them places. In fourth place is this one, which I forgot what it's called. Mattekoek. First place for Mattekoek. Matte taart, sorry, Matte taart. Then um, third place goes to the merengue citroen. Then second place goes to rice. And then first place goes to cherry. Let's just do that. Okay. I'm going to eat a little bit more, but not so much. I'm going to put it in the box. <laughs> put it in the fridge. Because this is a whole lot of stuff to eat, you guys. If I eat all of this, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I love this little thingy. I want to eat it. Look, maybe I can show you. 
Maybe it's also sh more sugar in there. Look, this is so crunchy. Like, it's almost like, like, look. That throws me off. It throws me off. It's just so confusing. Anyway, um, yeah, that was fun tasting. I'm gonna have a little, I'm gonna chill out here for a little bit. I'll get back to you guys later. So, <laughs> I've been editing after all afternoon. It was so funny. If you watch my birthday video, <laughs> you've already watched it when you're seeing this, but. If you watch my birthday video, <laughs> take a shot every time I say, It's my birthday! <laughs> You're gonna be super drunk by the end. Well, actually, don't take a shot because <laughs> you might not survive. Anyway, we are walking. We actually didn't go into the town, but. Oh, no, so there. We are walking somewhere in Everdingen. Everdingen, what's it called? Everdingen. Because we are looking for a fritur. Like a cafeteria, cafeteria, cafeteria. And we are looking for a shop that sells fries because Belgium, in my opinion, is famous for fries. Now, I don't know if that's actually true because I might be mistaken by this, <laughs> but we're gonna try and find some true Belgian fries. <laughs> I was going into the town and I thought, oh, I'll just walk into the town. And then I'll open Google Maps and I see where it is. So I just took a ride somewhere and I'm just walking and I just open Google Maps. Like, oh, where is it? And it turns out it's all the way to the left. <laughs> it's an 11 minute walk from where we are now. And it closes in 10 minutes. So, <laughs> so we need to find another one. Anyway, let's go find another one. I found one, but it's closed on Jeudi. Today is Jeudi. <laughs> so we have to go some, but I'm smelling. I'm smelling something. Fries are in the pocket. We found them over there. So now we need to find our, our way back. I don't know where we are, but I, I kind of know where we are. We've been, we've been walking all around and it's really busy and the sidewalks are very narrow. But I think I know the way back. Let's go home and have some fries. I guess we couldn't see. We ran. No, we didn't run. We walked super. Oh, they're cold. <laughs> Oh, they got cold. Yeah, it was a little bit far away. I got, ooh, Brazil sauce, which I've never had before. <laughs> it smells like yuppie sauce. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. We were out for an hour and 50 minutes in total. <laughs> We had our evening walk. The dogs also want some. Hey, so it's now evening. I spent all afternoon editing and uploading and doing thumbnails and all that jazz, which I of course never show you guys, but that goes around. That is all happening behind the scenes, you guys. I have to do all that stuff. <laughs> so, and I remember last year when I got back to the Netherlands, I had so much footage that I hadn't edited. And like weeks later, I started editing and I had no idea where I'd been, what I'd been doing. That makes it like five times harder than doing it like a couple of days after you did it. Or actually the same day is way better because then you know exactly what was going on in your head while you were filming it all. But I did the Chateau video and I really liked that video. Really proud about it. It was so stunning in there and it was so beautiful and I love the music that I put to it. Yeah, so I had a whole creative artsy afternoon. And now we're going to get ready for bed because it's time to go to bed. And uh, tomorrow I need to, we're going to be in Belgium one more day. I think I'm going to eat some more pies, but I need to eat some more normal stuff because my belly is like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> my body's like, what's happening? <laughs> but it's just, you know, a little bit of a cheat day, enough cheating for the entire year. <laughs> 
So we're gonna have a quiet night, hopefully. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a really quiet spot. I hope the dogs are gonna behave. We're gonna have a good night, hopefully. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to Noob Avengers! Mm -hmm.